Hello, this is Daryl Castle with today's podcast. Today is Monday, December 30th, 2013, and we, this week, take our look at 2014, what lies ahead. First, today, what lies ahead for the U.S. economy. To do that, I want to look first at a speech President Barack Obama made a few days ago to cover the fact that his signature legislation the Affordable Care Act, better known as Obamacare, rolled out as an absolute disaster resulting in his being chosen liar of the year for his statement, if you like your doctor, you can keep him. The president went to one of the poorer areas of Washington, D.C. and gave a speech in which he said, in part, the following, quote, I believe this country succeeds when everyone gets a fair shot, when everyone does their fair share, when everyone plays by the same rules. Those aren't Democrat or Republican values. These aren't 1% values or 99% values. They're American values, and we have to reclaim them. We simply cannot return to this brand of you're on your own economics if we're serious about rebuilding the middle class in this country. Okay, there he said it to cover himself, I believe. The president, with the same old tired rhetoric, he has used time and time again. He has lied to us time and time again and misled us time and time again. He is the liar of the year. In fact, he is guilty of the very things he attacked. Obamacare is the best example the nation suffers under the weight of its increasing taxes and increasing health premiums while he, the Congress, and their cronies enjoy waivers and exemptions and receive federal subsidies to offset their costs. This is what he means, I suppose, by everyone paying their fair share and everyone playing by the same rules. As Don Grove said in his article for Casey Research, Which is worse, a fool or a liar? Are we better off with a president who is a liar or with a president who is a fool? Mr. Grove was wondering whether the president actually believes all of the stuff that he said in this speech. Well, in this particular man, Mr. Grove, I think we have both rolled into one. What are the economic predictions for 2014? Accelerating lies, I would guess, to cover foolish behavior. Now, let's look at our actual economy, what's ahead for the U.S. economy. Disaster, ultimately, I predict, but probably not in 2014. The economy is like a tightrope strung between two buildings. The Federal Reserve walks the tightrope with the balancing pole in its hands. The winds buffet the walker, but he has to keep going, shifting the pole from one side to another. The further he walks, the further away the building of safety seems. As we know, the Fed begins its taper next month, January, with about a 12% reduction in its money printing and its U.S. debt buying. The Fed really has no choice. It must continue that printing that began in 2008 because the most noticeable feature of the U.S. economy, the stock market, the stock market is the canary in the coal mine of the Federal Reserve. The stock market depends on Fed money printing. Eventually, the accumulated increase in the money supply from the Federal Reserve's money printing will start pushing inflation higher. But if the printing stops to rein in the inflation, that would trigger much higher interest rates, which would push the deficit much higher and trigger a recession or depression, so the Fed sticks its toe in the water 12% at a time and hopes that it will slow but not trigger price inflation. This tinkering with the money supply back and forth to find the right balance will continue. But my prediction is that Janet Yellen, the incoming Fed chairman, will have to continue accelerated money printing later this year. What else is in store for the U.S. economy? In 2014, gold will have its day, I predict, but its day might not be tomorrow. The Fed's balance sheet will continue to grow more and more. The more trouble for the government at home and abroad, the more vicious 
the tax collectors and the rules and regulations will become. This will continue to have a counterproductive effect as production becomes harder and less rewarding. Currency debasement will continue. The dollar will continue its slide. The cost of all this is being pushed ahead to be paid by future generations. Our children and grandchildren already indebted their labor, already stolen to pay for the government's excesses. Friday, we will look at 2014 for the U.S. domestically, i.e. Obamacare, immigration, civil liberties, welfare, warfare states, etc. That will be coming Friday. There will be no podcast on New Year's Day this Wednesday. Who wants to hear this stuff on New Year's Day anyway, folks? But I will be back with you Friday. I believe that's January 3rd. Until then, this is Daryl Castle, folks. Thanks for listening.